Welcome to Toy Poloi. Hello and welcome to another video from Toy Poloi. Now in today's video we're going to take a look at repairing the box of a vintage Micronaut Star Searcher. The things I'm going to do here on fixing this box you can actually use on quite a lot of uh, boxes for vintage toys but this is specifically for a Star Searcher because uh, this is one that I have here that I picked up recently and the box is in a bit of a tatty state. Often when you pick up toys the uh, boxes that you get are not in the best of conditions because they've been stored in lofts and sort of uh, just generally battered over time. And this is a, a toy that I picked up fairly recently. It's a Star Searcher I really like. So this is, uh, I think, the third one I have now. And the box of this one isn't in great condition, but it's something that really can be saved with not a lot of effort. The main problems really with the box are, uh, if I take the lid off here, you'll see that all of the corners of the box have uh, been ripped, so it sort of falls apart. You can see this side over here is the same. There's also another rip on this side here. So uh, really, it's a bit of a floppy sort of... Um, uh, top and just just looks a bit sort of awful. There's also uh, some tape residue on the corners where someone has previously sort of tried to tape it together uh, and that's sort of uh, come off over time so I think we need to clean that up. Um, and really I think if we can fix those sort of few little issues then the box will actually hold together a lot better and should look a lot nicer. So uh, let's start with uh, cleaning off some of this sort of dirt and residue on the box itself. So on this corner, uh, it's obviously split a long time ago and someone has tried to tape it uh, and they used just sort of st uh, clear sellotape I think um, and it's left quite a sticky residue. So to remove that I've got some lighter fluid here. I'm just going to squirt lighter fluid onto a bit of kitchen cloth, kitchen towel, paper, whatever you want to call it and we can rub that here. And as you can see actually it's immediately taken off the sticky residue and starts to clean up the surface quite nicely. We can actually use the lighter fluid to clean up all of the surface of this box and just gently rub it over and it will take off any um, sort of little bits of dust and dirt. Uh, there's more sort of residue at this end so I'm hoping that uh, a little bit of rubbing will get that off and then it will just be whatever damage is underneath it. So as you can see that's removed and cleaned that edge up quite nicely. So we can go ahead and we'll do the same on this end. So I'll just put a fresh bit of light fluid on the paper. You can see here the tape mark uh, where the tape was. And if I gently rub with the lighter fluid, you can see the tape mark has gone uh, almost straight away. So I'll just uh, finish cleaning up this box using the lighter fluid and uh, then we can see about fixing the corners. To fix the corners of the box, uh, it's not the easiest thing to do, but uh, it's certainly worth doing because it will stop everything sort of flapping open like it does here. As you can see here, this is this corner is broken and there's actually a rip on the side, if I just rotate it around like that. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to fix the corner. Uh, and what you're going to need is some, uh, this is a brown paper tape, it's called gummed paper tape. So it's a soft brown paper and on the back is a uh, water activated gum, a bit like uh, what you'd find on an envelope. So you can pick this up off eBay uh, fairly cheaply. This is, there's uh, 50 metres of this tape here and it costs uh, about £4 including postage. So what we've got to do is we're going to cut a small length of this tape that's uh, the same depth as the box and then we can use that to start sticking this uh, corner back together. So first up let's cut some of this tape and we'll get it to the right size. So obviously you don't want the tape to be uh, sort of deeper than the box. So here's the length of the tape and all I'm going to do is hold it up to the edge of the box like so. That way I can see how tall it needs to be. I'm just going to put a gentle crease in that uh, like so. And then using a pair of scissors I can chop this shorter down. Now to make this fit in the corner we're going to fold this in half. So you want the sticky side facing you and then fold it so that it's uh, like a little corner shape like that so with the sticky side facing out and uh, this is what we're going to use to stick the corner back together. Now I said this is uh, sort of water activated you can lick this I actually prefer to just get a damp cloth and rub water on because you never know what sort of acids and uh, stuff you have in your mouth so just water from the tap that's activated the glue on here we can now use this to stick into the corner like so. 
it's fairly fiddly to do but it can be done and you just have to wait a few seconds for the glue to sort of stick and activate and then just firmly press it in place see and then now we've got a nice piece of tape taped in the corner and because this is an old box and sort of old-fashioned cardboard uh, the tape doesn't stand out too much and also because it's paper it's sort of quite uh, forgiving uh, and to the sort of original materials and if I turn the box over you can see the corner now is sort of firmly held together it's still a bit tatty obviously because this is a fairly worn box but uh, it's no longer flapping about and should hold nicely onto the um, inner part of this box so we can go ahead now and try and fix uh, this uh, sort of rip here as well now the tear in the side is a little bit more fiddly because uh, the tear has actually happened just before the two bits of card are stuck together or were originally stuck together so what I'm going to do is slightly prise up the inner bit of corner cardboard just a little bit uh, enough that I can get a bit of the gummed tape and stick it underneath uh, where it was originally joined like so and that way I should be able to stick that in place and then use the bit that's left sticking out to stick onto the other side of the tear and hold everything together. So it should end up being relatively strong. Um, so let's see if that works. So here's the bit of uh, gum tape. I'm just going to damp that with a damp cloth to activate the gum. Like so. And I'm going to stick this, the first bit needs to go under the flap. Like that, and we can stick that in place. And then the next bit needs to go onto the ripped section. Like so. And there the box is now sort of firmly held back together and the tear, although it's still visible the tear, it's no longer sort of a, such an obvious uh, bit of damage to the box. The last corner I need to fix has uh, the similar problem as the one before where it uh, rips down the very corner but there's also a tear uh, in the sort of top surface of the box as you can see there. So uh, I'm going to do an extra little bit of repair on that. I'm just going to cut a small corner of the uh, gummed tape and I'm first of all going to stick that flat into the corner to uh, stop the rip on the top surface and then I'll repair the corner as I did uh, previously with another piece of tape so I have a small piece here already cut so I just need to wet that with the uh, damp cloth here just to get that all activated and I'm going to stick that in the corner To glue the top surface together like so. So you can see if I turn that over that the top surface is now firmly held together. So if I just stick the corner then uh, that should uh, be perfect. So there is the uh, top part of this box all repaired. The brown uh, paper gums tape it's the best th sort of way I've found of uh, sort of fixing these corners together. You can use tape and you can glue things uh, with a bit of card, but I always find the glue goes off after a while. Whereas this brown paper tape, uh, which is really supposed to be used for fixing uh, the backs of picture frames together, is quite forgiving and sort of complements the age of uh, the cardboard used on these boxes. So I think it's probably the best way of doing it. So that's that box top done. If I bring in the bottom section, of the box we can now put that on and you can see now that it fits quite nicely and although it doesn't look perfect it's certainly a lot better than it was when I started. If I wanted to go a bit further I could iron the box very carefully ironing the edges and the top surface to flatten it out but on a box like this which is already pretty worn uh, I don't really want to go that far I think it just 
fixing the corner so that you can actually put the thing back together is as far as I want it to go and cleaning off any sort of sticky residue. I have another box here that also needs restoring. As you can see, this is a Micronauts Betatron box and it's in a pretty sorry state. Uh, this is how it came to me. I bought uh, a package of stuff off eBay and uh, this is what the box looks like. It's been crushed over the years. It's actually missing the top bit of a flap. Uh, and uh, it just is in a terrible, terrible state. There's actually quite a bit of rip there. But I think the first main problem though is the fact it's really battered and sort of crushed. So to solve this, uh, the best way to do that is to actually iron it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to flatten this box down. Uh, you can see it's where it's glued inside originally. There's one glue point there. So the way I'm going to solve this is to flatten the box as much as I can like this. As you can see, get everything down as flat as it possibly can be and then I'm going to iron it with a sort of a very lightly warmed iron um, and a, put a tea towel over the top of it so that it doesn't get to sort of marked or anything and gently heat this up and, and until it sort of flattens out as best it can and then once it's uh, sort of as flat as possible I can then go about sort of fixing and sticking any of the ripped bits and uh, seeing if we can get the box back up and into a sort of a, a more square shape when we put it back together. When you're ironing a box like this, it's best to put a tea towel over the top of it because a lot of these old boxes have a sort of plastic coating on top of the paper. And if you just iron straight on top, you're liable to melt that plastic coating and you make a real horrible mess. So uh, just take your time, put a tea towel over it and gently sort of push it down, keep going. And after a while, you'll end up with a box that looks more like this. As you can see here, it's starting to look a lot flatter. It's uh, still a little bit sort of bent in places but uh, that shouldn't be too much problem. As you can see here this is the, one of the tabs is slightly bowed but we should be able to just sort of gently sort of work those creases out of it. Uh, and now I can go ahead and start repairing it like I've repaired the previous box. I'm going to use the uh, gummed paper tape to stick these uh, sort of nasty tears back together and then we can see if we can get the uh, box to sort of at least hold together for uh, well so I should be able to actually put it back on display. And here we have the final boxes. As you can see, they're not looking too bad now. The uh, Betatron box was probably the worst one that I fixed today. And it actually doesn't look too bad. It now holds together and actually stays in the shape of a box. Previously, it was so crunched and sort of crumbled that uh, you really couldn't even make it into a box shape. It's never going to win a prize for its sort of beauty. But for me, that's perfectly good enough. And that will actually look quite nice on display again. Uh, it's obviously missing bits of the flap here at this end. But the box itself is now fairly sturdy and nothing is going to sort of fall off it uh, or sort of rip anymore. I've sort of glued and uh, stuck all the bits that were broken and it's been ironed so it's a reasonably flat shape. And the Star Searcher box as well, all the corners are now fixed. There's no rips that are sort of going to get any worse and it looks pretty good. So I hope those tips have been of interest to you and thanks for watching. Thanks for watching Toy Poloi. Subscribe for more great videos. You can also follow Toy Poloi on Twitter and Facebook.